What's up, you guys? Welcome to my YouTube channel. It's Capriciana, Capriciana. It's me. Y'all, so we are at church. This is what I have on today. Um, we're actually running like again, so we have to actually hurry up. But today is a beautiful day. Um, so we finna get into it. This is Dad. Say hey. And this doing? is Onyx. You ready for church? I'm making sure Onyx don't go to church today, y'all. And I say last night, he was so... I don't know what was wrong with him, but he just kept getting up and interrupting our sleep. But let's get into this church and praise God, y'all. My channel. Hey, y'all. It's your girl, Jalicia. Back again. And y'all, let me know how y'all feel about my hair. Period. This Ooh. is my um, church outfit. Oh, okay. Okay. Period. And it's Carter right here, y'all. So we'll see Carter whenever we I see wish Carter. I wish we could too. Okay, y'all. So we just left out of church and the sermon was good today. He was basically she, talking about, um, huh? She's basically, oh, he's basically talking about. He was saying how men and women have differences, but we should love each other for our differences, not be at war with each other over them. <laughs> So he's talking about the differences between men and women and, you know, how men use women, how women use men, how women want a man to have certain things before they get with them, how men lust over women, um, and how men want control over women. Like, they look at women like a, what is it called? Like a catch or something. Not like a catch, but like a a tool that they, they hold right. on to. Right. And, um, and how women, uh, can you can don't look at men for their values but their value in yeah terms like you know men don't look women don't look at men for their values but their values so a lot of women go based off how much a man make and you know stuff like that and, and that's oh, and that's not real love so and how to never go for someone at the top because the top it isn't where you meet someone you meet them at their bottom because right. they will never be true to you at their top yeah, a lot a lot of people won't be true to you at their top. And then a lot of people realize they want a lot of women a lot of women realize or think they want a man in the highest power, like a principal, a teacher, a pastor, a president or whatever the case may be. Until they realize that they can't even hold on to this man. Like they can't they don't even know what it feels like to be with someone like that because they themselves not even on that level. So right. because this is a per this is a person that you want to be there for you, but at the top, right. when it's an extremely hard balance. When, you know, they focus too much on you, they lose the top. They focus too much on top, they lose you, and you now feel lonely. Yeah, yeah, you do. So it's about, you know, um, loving people for who they are, who God called them to be. We all don't belong to anyone. We are just useful in each other's lives, and we are ordained if God is sent. And so you have to look at it. When you date someone and when you marry someone, you're supposed to marry the, the person that God has ordained for you, not the person that your flesh desires. So it's like you have to just stand on all ten and follow God. And he also says that don't think that you're the best out there because it's always somebody better than you. And if it ain't nobody better than you, maybe you are the best. You have to make sure that you're giving your best self to the right person. And you're not just, you know what I'm saying? out here loosely giving yourself you know what i'm saying because today is normalized to be a a 304 and um that ain't the case in the kingdom okay okay y'all so i had to change my outfit um, we're going to Mustard Truck Jams with Joy. She told us about it today. They invited us. We've been riding for about like 40 minutes. Um, Unexy sleep. He has been a lot more fussy lately, and I'm not sure what's that about, y'all. But not to get too much off topic, we're on the way to Mustard Jam, and um, it's in Hampton, Georgia. First time ever going to a Mustard Jam. I wanted to take Unix anyways when he turned about like two to three years old, but as you all know, he's six months. We're still going to see how attentive he is and if he even slightly enjoys the show. Is this your first time going to Mustard Jam? Yeah. So it's both of our first time going to Mustard Jam. We made a stop to eat before we had some cookout, a burger, and some cheese bites. Um, it's pretty smooth. 
so we're going to see how this is they say it's 20 dollars for parking which i think is outrageous but that's what these venues be charging so we're gonna see how this monster jam go and i'm gonna let y'all know when we get there so i'm assuming we're here y'all it says monster jam parking oh it is going out but this is how the area is looking right now driving in this is yeah this is the arena part over here okay y'all so we're here you can hear it in the background already the arena looking place is kind of dark but we'll be back when we're there okay y'all we're here the land of champions so y'all we're here we finally arrived it's hot out here thank you babe are you gonna be happy to be here Clap on the beat, babe.
No, he just shiny. No, Maybe he is sweaty. How you feel, honey? Appreciate you showing off all of your So y'all, we we are leaving the monster truck. It's kind of dark out here. Well, it's light outside, but the sun is making it a little dark. And that's good. We don't have to pay for parking. But y'all, it was a good show. And I'm going to talk to y'all when we get in this car. Y'all, it's locked and loaded right here. It's hella traffic. Okay, y'all. So we just came from the monster jam. It was a good show. I tried to give y'all as much as I could. I know what the sun said, it was looking a little dark, like it's still kind of doing right now. But I rate the show um, 7 out of 10. What you rate it? Uh, I give it about 7 out of 10, too. It was I feel like the heat, or the heat. Man. You got to talk a little light. You be talking like. I give it about 7 out of 10, too. All right, y'all. So we're getting ready to put up these curtains that my man got me from Burlington that I told y'all about. We're finally putting them up today. Here's our rod that we have. So we're trying to see the measurements of it um, and how long the curtains are gonna look. But let me sit y'all up so y'all can see. finally up and they look so good they cover up the sun it is giving shout out to my man look how long they are y'all here's crybaby yep crybaby here's dad sweating hey hard work <laughs> yeah so i just figured out how to work this vegetable cutter here's the asparagus i'm using also i went to found food depot for the first time great sales um i'm using a red onion white onion and orange, I'm mean not orange, my bad, yellow and red bell pepper. These are the seasons I'm gonna use, garlic powder, Creole, and some light food like Smokey by Tabitha, I like her. And also um, some black pepper. Cornbread mixture we're making by Martha White. Using some spaghetti and a little bit of finicini noodles for the Louisiana macaroni but i'll come back to show you how the cheese whenever we get to that So 
y'all i tried this and so far it works pretty perfect with onions but with green peppers and peppers period it's not working as good so far this is the first try. Okay, y'all. So, uh, we are clean to next. We're going to move this stuff over here. We're clean 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 to move this stuff over here. I can't go plans with you to be what's in and break your heart. Sometimes I go to you for what you give, not who you are. I wonder if you'll leave for me. God, you call me by my name. Give my heart again, Jesus. I wanna go to Cali way. Close to your love again. I give my heart again, Jesus. I know you know me well. I feel invisible until you tell me you're right here. I cancel plans with you to be what's in and break your heart. Sometimes I go to you for what you give, not who you are. I wonder if you'll leave for me. Now we're finished cooking dinner so this is um the beef i mean not beef these are turkey necks y'all cornbread louisiana mac and cheese and asparagus i did kind of burn the asparagus a little bit but yeah we're gonna get the ones that's not burned so. <laughs> y'all this is the end result of our plate turkey necks mac and cheese asparagus and cornbread this is how it's looking. Now y'all, let's do a taste test. Okay. Well, so, y'all, so here goes the taste test. Mac and cheese first. Yeah. It's good. Tastes a little dry. Though. Yeah, a little dry. Could you use more evaporated milk? I'm a soul man. Cause it tastes like it's a lot of cheese, yeah. which is not bad. But it's just not, it's like moist. Yeah. Um, Asparagus. Mm. 
good. I don't think I really eat asparagus, but it tastes good. Turkey legs. Turkey, turkey neck. Turkey neck. Five. Yeah, I know the turkey neck don't got a lot of meat on it. Good. Sounds good. Real good. Cornbread is good. Five, five, five. Hold on. Yeah, I know what I'm doing. Cornbread dry. Very dry. Very dry. Not very dry. It is very dry. No, there's not even no shade to you. All right, I'm just really working the food. Yeah. Yeah. But it's and good. You, this is first time making it, making food. So he made the um, mac and cheese and cornbread. I made the turkey mix and asparagus. Yeah. What would you rate the plate in for?